Kefia. Bless you. No, Kefia. That's the name of the hat. If you grew up in a church, you were probably in a Christmas pageant. Me, I grew up Presbyterian. They were called cantatas. Say it with me. Can ta ta. If you were in a Christmas pageant, can ta ta, you probably had to wear a pillowcase or a sheet, or something draped atop your noggin with a belt or something around it, regardless of who you were in the pageant. Mary, Joseph, angels, donkey. Donkey, put on the kafia. You had a pillowcase on your head. That pillowcase was selected to interpret the traditional headgear, the kafia. Bless you. The kafia is commonly found in desert or dry regions to provide protection from sunburn, dust, sand. The distinctive woven checkered pattern, which we are decidedly lacking here, may have origins in the ancient Mesopotamia representing either fishing nets or ears of grain. Variations of the kefiyeh have been worn over the centuries and is, or slash was, typically worn by Arabs, Kurds, and some Jews. Historically, kefiyahs uh, were, were like a head garment worn by shepherds that come to greet Jesus in the nativity story. Hey Jesus, how are you? Hello Jesus, it's good to see you. They came to greet a baby. While many Hebrews and Syrians of the day went bareheaded like yours truly, peasants, shepherds, the low-level, low-status, blue-collar workers living paycheck to paycheck wore a square folded headcloth secured by a band while the upper class wore more of a fancy turban. While we may not always get our kefia look on point during Christmas pageants <laughs> right now when we do see these on the small stage we can use it as a reminder that Jesus came for everyone he came for the rich and the well-off but his first priority if we take anything from the nativity story is that the poor are very close to his heart and plan in the kingdom as he said later in life blessed are the poor in spirit where theirs is the kingdom of heaven.